What's up, beautiful people? It's yours truly, Tigo. Welcome back to the channel. And today we will be discussing what was found underneath the Kafir Pyramid. As you know, some amazing structures, intact, unified structures were found underneath the pyramid, going as deep as 2,100 feet. I don't think you understand. Because if that's the case, and it has the same level of precision that the pyramid on top has, are we sure that slaves actually built that? And even that aside, I'm also gonna share some information with you about our extraterrestrial friends up there and what they say is underneath the Great Pyramid. And another one of our extraterrestrial friends, Bashar, says there is something underneath the Sphinx. Let's get into it. So the way that we were able to look at these pyramids to begin with was using SAR, which stands for Synthetic Aperture radar and this advanced radar technology analyzes micro movements within structures allowing the researchers to visualize internal features without excavation the radar scans revealed a vast underground network stretching approximately two kilometers beneath the three pyramids that's crazy specifically beneath the kafir pyramid they identified eight massive pillar-like formations each extending over 2100 feet deep so, I mean, you guys got to really think about that. Like, to be going that deep, who on earth could construct this entire site? Clearly, it could not have been slaves. They say the pillars are connected to cube-shaped structures, possibly serving as access points to the subterranean system. Additionally, five multi-level structures linked by passageways were detected about 4,000 feet below the pyramid's base it really is something astonishing already come if you're looking at the already mind-blowing mathematics of the great pyramid as you can see here on the screen and then thinking about what's going on beneath the pyramid how long it's been there what it was created for and clearly how little we know about the whole complex but of course if we ask our ancestors They'll tell us that the pyramids were used for far more than spiritual work, far more than user, utilizing it as a power device. All right, now let's start with the part about the extraterrestrials. We'll start with... I'll say good day to you this day of your time. How are you all? Daryl Anka, who normally channels Bashar, very popular channel all around the world. And he was asked by a person about the tablets of Moses and where the two tablets of Moses could be found. And Bashar alluded to underneath the Sphinx. So it's looking more and more like he may know what he's talking about. He's also made many predictions that have come true. And then we have the beings from Venus that the book, The Law of One, was written about, known as Ra. Ra also claims to be the builder of the Great Pyramid. And within that, they said that there is a place underneath the pyramid that us as humans can go to in consciousness. Could go physically, but we can go to in consciousness right now if we just move and focus our minds in that way. All of the fascinating things that I've heard from the Law of One, it is hands down one of the best spiritual texts I've ever seen. I highly suggest that you guys check it out. If you'd like to hear more from the Law of One, I am currently creating an audiobook of it with many sessions already uploaded to my YouTube channel, as you can see here. Just go ahead, click on it, press play. Happy trails. I appreciate you guys. Subscribe, 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 and I will see you guys again very soon. Peace.